What's up guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, we will be looking at how to create rolling and crawling credits in our projects. So rolling credits are as easy as creating a title in Premiere. Basically, rolling credits are the credits that will animate vertically like the ones we see at the end of a movie. Now, in order to create one, let's first create a new sequence and I can do that by using my keyboard shortcuts, which is Command and N key. And I'm gonna name this sequence as rolling credits. So yeah, so now for rolling credits, you would obviously need more text and it's always better to have that text somewhere ready in a Word document or in any other text editor. So I've got all my text ready here in my Word file here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this text first of all, and I'm gonna go back in my project and will now click on this type tool. Now you can see the type tool here, either in the tools bar, or you can use your keyboard shortcut, which is the T key. Now, once you've selected the type tool, you now need to come back in your program monitor and click, you can, I mean, you can click anywhere in your program monitor. I'm gonna click here. And first of all, I'm gonna type in the word cast. I'm not too worried. I'm not too concerned about all the alignment and styling right now, as I will do that later on. Right now, I just wanna insert all my text in. So I've already copied in one column. So I'm gonna paste that one in over here. And then I'm gonna go back to my word file and we'll now copy this other one. And I'm gonna, now gonna go back in my project and we'll paste this one as well. Cool, so now I've got all my text here in my pro program monitor. So I will start doing some alignment and styling. So I will first of all place this cast here at the top and I just need to make sure that these are aligned, both these columns are aligned, which they are, I mean, they look fine now. So I'm gonna do some basic adjustments now. So let's see, the font style looks fine. The font size, let's say, I think 30, no, 35, 35 is fine. I think 35 is fine, yeah. And it looks okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna spend time doing, I can go on and on and on, but um, I mean, for the sake of this tutorial, I just, I mean, I only wanna show you guys how you can do it. So I think this looks absolutely fine. now. Once you've done your styling and once you've done all your alignment and you're happy with everything, now you need to go into your essential graphics panel and go right at the bottom of it and you will see this roll option. Now you need to click on this roll option and you also need to click on these other two boxes to make sure that your credits, they start off screen and they finish off screen. Now you can also add in some easing as well just to make this whole effect a bit smoother. So I'm gonna do it ease in five and ease out five and now once you're happy with everything you can then go back to your sequence you can then go back to your timeline and see how it actually looks so let's see so guys i think that looks good so this is how you're going to do your rolling credits now crawling credits are the tickers basically that will animate horizontally like the ones we see in the news channel you know when you see all those news kind of animating horizontally at the bottom of your screen those are all crawling credits. So for crawling credits, the method is a bit different because if you wanna do rolling credits, then the option is just there in the essential graphics panel. But as you can see that there is no option for crawling credits in there. So the way we're gonna do this is by going into the file menu first and then clicking on new and then clicking on this legacy title option. Now, when you click on this legacy title option, you will see a new window appearing on your screen. And this is nothing different than the type tool we have used before. So I'm gonna start typing my text in here. And I wanna place my text right at the bottom because we know that our text will be crawling horizontally on our screen. So now once I've placed this text, I'm now gonna do some basic adjustments to this. So I will first select a different font. And I think the font size, this one is okay. And in terms of style, I think this is okay now. So, I mean, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna do anything else. I just wanna show you how to actually do this. So this is all good now. So once you've done your styling, once you've done your alignment, you need to then go up at the top of this window and click on this small icon. And as soon as you click on this icon, a new dialog box will appear on your screen. You then need to click on this crawl option. You then need to tick this crawl option and you also need to tick these two other boxes to make sure that your animation starts off screen and it finishes off screen. Now I'm gonna close down this window and I'm gonna go back to my timeline and I'm gonna play this graphics layer 
to see how my crawling credits actually look like. So there you go, you can see the credits crawling horizontally on my screen. So guys, that's how you can do your rolling credits and crawling credits and you can see how simple these things are. Now, whenever you see a movie or a news channel, you will now know straight away how the credits are rolling or crawling on the screen. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you got any questions, anything you're not sure about, feel free to drop that in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm now going to see you in the next video. So till then, you take care of yourself.